Meteorologist Joe Wiseman joins us now, and Joe, apparently even forecasters get stuck in the rain. Oh, I got real wet today. I got up, <laughs> it was cloudy, stopped at the store for about 10 or 15 minutes and got really caught in the rain and got wet because I left the umbrella in the car. And by late Saturday evening, there were still two areas of Florida where the rain not only was falling, but it was coming down very heavily. One of those areas was the northeastern part of the state, and the other area was the southeast. Now, by late in the day, we were seeing rainfall rates in excess of a half an inch an hour, in some cases an inch per hour. But our first stop today is going to take us well out to sea, and we still see two areas of disturbed weather. Now, keep in mind, we're still well into the heart of hurricane season. We're not done yet. In fact, we have to wait till the end of November before we're officially done with hurricane season. And tonight we see two areas of disturbed weather, one of which is well to the east of the Lesser Antilles. And you can see by the clouds, it's not a very well organized area of clouds or of storms, but that could change over the next several days as it very slowly drifts to the west. Now that's storm system number one. The other area of disturbed weather takes us off to the eastern part of the Caribbean. And this area too is very well disorganized, but over the next several days, we're still gonna need, this, need to watch this area very closely as it at least shows some potential that it could strengthen. Now on to the Gulf of Mexico where it's not terribly active. We do see a cluster of thunderstorms in the northern part of the Gulf. And taking a look at the west coast of Florida, looking pretty good. But it's the east coast that late Saturday night was still getting some very heavy rain right around Alligator Alley eastward into the Miami and Fort Lauderdale areas. Then farther north, uh, right around Interstate 95 from say Jacksonville down to Daytona Beach, a threat of showers and thunderstorms was rolling through those areas. The Gulf of Mexico right now covered by an area of high pressure, keeping much of the area dry. But this frontal system has been uh, the focus of showers and thunderstorms, but that will continue moving northward and it's going to dissipate. So for North Florida, is dry traveling conditions right along Interstate 10 from Panama City all the way to Jacksonville. There is a threat of showers and thunderstorms in central Florida, including the Orlando area. And as we work our way down to South Florida, West Palm Beach looking pretty good. Cloudy skies right around Naples, and there is a chance of a thunderstorm right around Miami. In Tallahassee on Saturday, we started off with a morning low right around 74 degrees, rebounded to a daytime high of 86. And at the airport, one one hundredth of an inch of rain officially. But at your place, you may have had a lot more than that because rainfall totals vary greatly within a small area. Your forecast for the remainder of tonight, partly cloudy skies, some late night fog, a light east wind, and a low temperature right around 71. That takes care of Tallahassee. Other low temperatures tonight can be expected to be right around 72 in Apalachicola if you're right around Marianne. Expect a low right around 70 and the Panama City, a low right around 72. And for your Sunday, expect a partly cloudy day, a southeast wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour and a high temperature right around 88 degrees. And over the next several days, we can expect more in the way of sunshine, but by the middle of the next week, there is a very good chance of scattered rain. High temperatures well into the 80s, with low temperatures between 65 and 70 degrees. So over the next uh, five to six days, temperatures will still be very mild.